A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago. The land of my nativity, the land of my boat, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. On the In the month of November 2020, brothers and sisters, happy for I to join you all on this day. Well, as usual, I was watching the, on YouTube, I was watching a video with my dear atheist brother, Sam Harris. I know that you all know about him very fondly, and he's very popular in the YouTube community. And in a lot of debates with Matt and Adulty, my next atheist brothers, and other men of God. I was watching the video with Sam Harris, and the, meaning of his, the name of his video entitled The Meaning of Life. Sam Harris, my dear brother, I just want to say, being an atheist, it is sad to know that I know that you are an atheist. I want you to become a Christian. You don't have to remain that atheist all the time. There's enough opportunity for you to renounce atheism and accept Christianity and accept the Bible. Right? Let us wait and see if you will make that a very important decision of, of your life. But right now, Sam Harris, my dear brother, the fuck is that you will have to recognize that Psalms 14 is hanging over your head. And what Psalms 14 said, a fool in his heart say that you are no good, that there is no God. So, so Psalms Harris, you are a fool. I did not say that. God say that. And I'm quoting what God say. And God is the creator. And Psalms 14 said, a fool in his heart say there is no God. Psalm David, the servant of God, recorded that by the inspiration of God. So Psalms Harris, I know, listening to you, I know you are, you are a very bright fella. I see that you have great charisma and you are very articulated and you talk very fluently. And I suspect that you are a child of academia. I mean that you are a bright college boy or university boy. Nothing wrong with that. I welcome that because I have great respect for all those children of academia who pass through university and think that you prestige institution and have the PhD in Doctor of Philosophy and the MA and the different degrees. Nothing wrong with that. But you still a fool because Psalms 14 is hanging over your head because you said that there is no God. Psalms Harris, I listened to what you said in the video and you are contradicting yourself. But one thing I agree with you when you said that even so if we live all our physical days and we live a hundred years, it still is a few years. I agree with you a hundred percent. So in that context, I, Eric Braxton, want to credit to you a hundred marks by making that true statement because I make that statement. I told my wife and my son and many people, if we live a hundred years, that is only a few years compared to the what mankind used to live early on. Look, Adam lived nearly a thousand years. Melchusalem lived 969 years. So you see, in the early part of the creation, man was living at close to a thousand years, 800 years. I plenty years, but God cut down the life span of man, and he short my man life span and say, and it said in the book of Genesis, my spirit will not always strive in man, his days will be 120. But how much people living up to 120, 122? A few people. Brothers and sisters, we, we make the 70s, the 60s score, or the 80s score, and a little 90, and sometimes 100. And those who make 100 years, they celebrate that 100 years as the century, we call them the centurions. They make 100 years and we celebrate that. But I agree with you, Sam Harris, in that context, that 100 years is a little bit of years. So you, it, that is a true statement that you have made. And I, Eric Braxton, have credited you 100 marks. Only in that context. But the rest of things that you are saying is contradictory. Because first place, you do not believe in God. Sam Harris, I want you to know that God exists, exists. With all the intelligent design around us, is the proof that God exists. My dear friend, the true meaning of life, and Sam Harris, where life came from, you're talking about the meaning of life, and you're titled your video, The Meaning of Life. You never said in the video where life come. You are saying to us that life does evolve. No, life come from God because God is the source of all life. But you do not say that to the people. You see, you are teaching the people the wrong thing. Psalm Harris, God is the source of life. 
and he gave life to all the angels that he, angels that he created and he gave life to the universe and mankind because life come from God but you do not want to humble yourself and accept what the book of Genesis say for God created Adam and he breathed into Adam that life that you're talking about yes and where consciousness come from Adam um, Sam Saris you're talking about consciousness God give Adam consciousness because God is the one who possess consciousness did you say that in the video no so you have the people in ignorance because you're not teaching them the right thing I am teaching you the right thing and the rest of the people all on Sunday the right thing Sam Saris you're on the wrong track because you do not accept Jesus Christ you reject the word of God and then you are talking about the meaning of life you are teaching that people can live a happy comfortable life without God well I'm saying that cannot happen no human being cannot live a happy comfortable life without God you could only live a happy comfortable life, comfortable life with God and all the other people who think they are living a happy comfortable life without God they are in delusion because when they think they're having that happy comfortable life they are facing all kind of hardship and tribulation just as anybody else so truly we can only live a comfortable and a happy life with God and serving God because that's the first intent God created us to live a happy and a comfortable life and without him we cannot live that we will live a miserable life without God and that's what mankind is living those who reject God they are living a miserable life without God I want to I want to and labor in that miserable life that they, they are living without God a comfortable and happy life they are only fooling themselves at the end of the day and you fail to recognize that well I want to remind you my learned friend your little Christian brother way down in Trinidad and Tobago in this little island country telling you who is in that big metropolis international nation United States of America that you you are teaching the people the wrong thing God exists, God is real with all the intelligent design. But before I come to this video, enter this end of this video, I have much to say to you, Sam Harris, my dear brother. After all, this is my first initial video concerning you. And I have much, I have much to discuss with you in this video, my dear friend. So, but I want to end this video by saying. Sam Saris, I want you to observe this observation. I know that you never observed it before, and I tend to draw this to your attention. Sam Saris, I know that you believe in the Big Bang with Charles Darwin, Charles Darwinism teaching, which is total false. Sam Saris, can a Big Bang take place in a ball of matter explode and give birth to the sun? Listen to the example, give birth to the sun. And when the sun was formed, according to the Big Bang theory, which is false, but according, going according to the CD theory, where the Big Bang was formed and the and the sun did form, how can this, how come, how can, how can the sun, according to all of that, come out of the Big Bang theory, structure itself as a ball of light, and then give itself a law, only to rise in the east and set in the west, because that we are seeing. The sun is not rising in the north and setting in the south. It's not rising, setting in the, rising in the south and setting in the north. Am I correct? I know that you know that Harris, Sam Harris, that says me, where it rising up from? Only in the, only in the east and setting in the west. And when the sun set, it's coming back and rising in the east and setting in the west. Can the sun structure itself and give that self a law? No. It's an intelligent mind who create that have to set that for that to follow in the east and in the west in the east and the west am i right sam harris and then you say that this then you want to say that the sun created itself and give itself that law and structure itself to function so no is an intelligent being that do that and right there that's the proof that god exists so creation is a proof that god exists and that's using the sun as one item to prove that and that law is being manifested day and night for everybody to see but you are blind to recognize that and that is how God accept that you, that what God set up these things for you see God wants us to observe his creation very carefully that's why he put it there for us so when we observe it carefully God wants us to understand now oh, wait a minute this thing can't create itself it's God who created that 
cause us to function. Ah, and when God see we understand that, then he know, then he will know where we are consciousness of him. Ah, because why he's an invisible being. All the all the understanding, that's what God is doing. Doing. He wants us to look up and look at these things of the the planet and see how they are not bouncing into one another and they're in a fixed position. And then we will say, but wait a minute. How these things are bouncing into the cell, the stars and them not flying in one another, in one another. But in this fixed position, day and night, that can happen by guess. Is a mind, an intelligent being who have these things fixed in that position. Uh, and when God sees you thinking that way, he will recognize, ah, uh, you come into the understanding that is he who created and have it that way. And now you will get to have the greater consciousness that he exists. Mm, that's why he set up all these things. So, when we look at these things, we will ask these questions, and by asking these questions, he will give us the understanding in it. And now we will know that God exists. So in that sense, we don't have to see that he exists. We know he's invisible, and we know he exists. Ah, because that is, he's an invisible God. That's why he has to do these things. And you know what God is doing is right. Yes, an invisible being will have to do that. Because you see, if God makes himself visible to everybody, you then you, you don't see him. And and, he, and when, when you're done seeing God, then you will ask God, God is your creator son? Then he say yes. Then you don't have to study the sun again to see how it's going, going, going so to figure it out because you don't see God and he don't tell you he created the sun. But if you're not seeing God and you accept that he's an invisible being, then you, when you look at his creation, you will see the intelligence behind it and you know that it's he who created the sun. Uh, you know, we get the message and that's what God is, how God is revealing himself. He's invisible, but he put these things for us to study it. And by studying it, when we have the right understanding, we will know that He exists. So in other words, when I, when you have the right understanding that I have, uh, you know what God will be saying to Braxton, and you already see it. Uh, he said, well, well done, Braxton. Now you have known that I exist. But have you seen me? No, because I still remain invisible. Ah, uh, that's what God is doing. And God is doing the right thing. And any of you all say that God is doing the wrong thing by that, you all have it upside down. Yes, God has an invisible spirit, that is how we have to move. That's how we have to move. Yes, I have Brooks and I'm teaching you all that and putting that to all of you all. And that is exactly how God is moving. Mm -hmm. He don't have to show himself to us. He don't have to take a new apparition and appear before me and a form and speak to me. Mm -hmm. I already know he exists by studying his creation. I is known that he designed that law and caused the sun rise in the east and set in the west. I know he is he who created. So I, I know how to see God. I already know he exists because he's invisible. You understand? Now I have arrived to that understanding. Uh, God is saying to me, bravo, bravo, well done. Mm -hmm. And you are the next person to come to that understanding too. All you know, get the message? All you know, get the message? Right, that's how, that is how God is working. That is how God is operating. Uh, and that's what I'm teaching you all. That's what I'm revealing to you all. Brothers and sisters, one and all, sundry in the international community, in the public domain all over this world, in this video on YouTube that I'm recording for one and all and sundry to get that message loud and clear. And this is what the scriptures teach us from Genesis to Revelation. That's what God is revealing to us. In, rep, in the scriptures. So you see, you see, that is how God is working. So I don't have to see God now to know that he exists. Because God is invisible. So right now, Eric Braxton believes in the invisible. And that's what God, all men, he want all men to believe in the invisible. Don't you know Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob believe in the invisible? Oh, David believed in the invisible. Mm -hmm. Read the 150 Psalms. So who you think was David was prayed for? You think with all the prayers David was prayed, he was seeing God? Uh -huh. He was talking to God and God talking to him and God answering back. He, he wasn't seeing God at all time. At that time, at no time. Uh -huh. He believed in the invisible. He communicated with the invisible being, which is God. Mm-hmm. Well, look at the message you now. This is a teaching of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So I have arrived in the same context like David. How oh, David believe in the invisible? I, ha I have come disliking David, believe in the invisible. And all the true Christians will have to arrive at believing in the invisible. Because God is an invisible being. I remember in the book of Hebrews that Moses talk about God who is invisible. Moses also believed in the invisible. Yes. You remember when Moses come out from Pharaoh, he prayed to God to take away the frog. He wasn't seeing God when he was praying to God. You see? And when God moved the frog, ah, he know that invisible being which is God moved the frog. They, Moses didn't have to see God. Because David now, Moses now, have arrived like the same context like David, believe in the invisible. And God wants all of us uh, to arrive to that juncture. Uh, because he's an invisible God. And he wants all of us to believe in the invisible. Because he's an invisible God. Of course he can make himself visible to all mankind. But that time hasn't arrived. That's the second coming of Jesus Christ. As you read in the book of Revelation, where all eyes will see him. Hmm. This is the teaching of the scriptures. I'm not making up this. This is not my own philosophy or ideology. This is getting it from right from the Bible that you have rejected, my dear friend. So I'm sorry. And then you are talking about the meaning of life. Yes. I take it up for me now. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, so, Sam Harris, I will end this video on that note. As I said, me and you have a lot to discuss with you, my dear friend. Right? I desperate and I hope at the end of the day, if you will be fortunate to see this video, or any of your friends or close associates or colleagues of yours who will see this video, see it before you and make mention of it to you that I have a video on YouTube concerning you. That I hope that you, that you humble yourself and you run quickly to the internet. And, and, and get contact with this video so that you will hear what I have said unto you. And at the end of the day, when you watch this video, that you will make the right choice and, and recognize that what this little Christian boy, your Christian brother, have said is right. And that you will do the right thing and not reject this video and cast it in the, in the dumpster. But accept it in your heart so fast. And then turn to the Word of God. Genesis to Revelation and began reading the Bible and accepting what the Bible says. And of course, to do that, you have to renounce atheism. You have to renounce atheism. So after all, the ball is in your court. I just pray that you make that right decision and renounce atheism and accept the Bible, the words of God. Now when you have done that, you can discuss about the true meaning of life. The true meaning of life. The true meaning of life. How God created us to live that true meaning of life. But now you have reject God, you are an atheist. So in the true sense, you cannot discuss about the true meaning of life. That video that you have titled the true meaning of life, you have given false meaning of life in that video. You have given false meaning of life. You have discussed about the true meaning of life. But I said, although that you have given false meaning of life, you still mention something that is true, that even self a person live a hundred years physically is still with a little years. And therefore it is incumbent upon me, since you have made that right statement, we live a hundred years, it's still a bit a little is a still bit a, it's still a little bit of years. I have credited to you a full hundred marks in that context, OD. So you have got a full hundred marks for me, my dear friend. Eric Braxton, we don't mention that Adam to David, but all the rest of things you have said in that video in the meaning of life is total false. Right, my dear friend? So, so humble yourself and recognize what I teach you and what I point out to you and all others like you, like Sam Harris, who are believing self, Sam Harris and what he is saying and are fans of Sam Harris or students of him. This also go for all of you all and all the rest of the ATS and the ATS community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Right? As I said, I have much to discuss with Sam Harris in this video. I have much to discuss with him. And and looking at his age, I think I'm much older than him now. He looks like he's in the forties. Well, I am the, I close to sixty years. So in that sense, I am his elder brother. I am his elder brother, and I pray and I hope that he listened to this, to his elder brother, 
And way down in Trinidad and Tobago is Christian brother, Eric Braxton. I hope that he doesn't have the foolish idea that I'm a white man and I don't have to listen to this black boy or Christian boy. If you want to think that we are the other white brothers, then Sam Saris, then you have missed the boat. You have missed your trip. So I hope they doesn't think that foolish idea that because you are some white man uh -huh, and you're in the metropolis and the greatest nation on the the industrial nation the United States. Well, who is this little black boy or color boy Trinidad down in Trinidad and Tobago calling himself Eric Braxton? Also, that is my right official name, saying that he's the one who's teaching me or pointing out this facts. I don't want to listen to this little Christian boy. Who is me? And then calling calling me Sam Zaris's brother. Michael, Michael, go and pick it up for my fans now. Hmm? If you start to think that way, Sam Harris, then you miss the boat, you have missed the train. And I don't want you to miss the boat, I want, I'm neither the train, my dear friend, that is an example. So I hope that you, that you ponder very deeply and carefully what I have said all in this video, my dear friend, Sam Harris. And I hope to just carry on discussion, discuss, discussion with you in other videos to come, my dear friend, my dear friend, my dear friend, you are not my enemy, you see how I'm discussing you, my dear American friend and colleagues of mine, Sam Cyrus, although we have never met in the flesh, and you don't know me, and I just know you, but you see how I'm describing you, so much less if I do come to America and see you in the flesh, and you are still at eight years, of course, I will walk up to you and introduce myself to you. I'm this little Christian boy, Eric Braxton, and greet you with the love of Jesus Christ and embrace you and point you to Jesus Christ. Who is expect me to point you to Matt Donald Dalty? He can't save you. To point you to who? To Aaron Ra? He can't save you. To point you to who? To Sam, to, 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 to Seth Harris? He can't save you. The unholy trinity as they call themselves, they can't save you. I point you to Jesus Christ, the savior of all mankind, my dear friend. And that's how I will continue doing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen, that's amen. So I pray and I hope that everything that I've said in this video, my dear friend, that you have pondered and that you will think and comprehend everything that I say to A to Z, to the A, to, to the T, and to the letter, my dear friend. In the other name, and the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen and amen. May God bless all those who have accept, will accept this video and share this video and let this video receive many views in the in the public domain and that this message that you all will accept jesus christ renounce atheism get baptized get saved believe the bible and preach in jesus christ because these videos is about changing lives these videos is not about entertainment these videos are serious message that i'm recording taking the time and that can serve it effort to sit down although you're on my broken chair between the bulb light here as you see in the bulb light and to record these videos to you all to give you all that solid food the truth of god brothers and sisters and i pray that you all eat it and digest it so you all will benefit from it everything that i've said in this video and that you all doesn't cast away that cooked food the truth of god that i've given you I'm just tied like, as examples, but you understand what I mean, that I'm giving to you all. And those who reject all of what I have said in these videos and other videos that have on my account. Well, the day of judgment when you all stand before God, you all have to give the answer of God why you all do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, God will bring up that at that time. Oh, you think you will leave it out? Not at all. Mm -hmm. You bring it out, you put that answer. Why well, you all have watched Eric Braxton videos? And you have said on all your mind, he's talking a bunch of nonsense and nonsensical foolishness. You don't have to listen to this little Christian boy who are recording this video every week. And what he imposed himself upon us as his as our student. And what he imposed himself upon us as 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 as, as his as 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 a teacher to us. And we don't have to listen to you and have reject my videos. God will say, well, you, you all, all you should not reject that you now. But he was telling all it was the right thing. You all should have humbled yourself and listen to everything that he said from A to Z. But did you all do that? No. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, all the think all, all, all because all they see all the self as white, all they feel all the more superior to Eric Brooks and this is the color boy, black boy from a little island country. And all he was thinking foolishly, I belong to this great United States of America country, America, the industrial nation of the, the metropolis. Uh, we, we, we belong to the big city, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles. Who is Eric Brooks then? From this little Caribbean island, this little Caribbean boy. Uh, telling us all these things, we don't have to listen to he. Uh, God will be saying to all of us, thinking all that in all your mind, all those talking foolishness. When all you should have been listening, Eric Rockstar, listening to him, seeing what he is telling you all, taking up the words of God, the Holy Bible, began reading it from Genesis to Revelation, and saying, You know what this Mr. Christian boy is teaching all his writing? Uh, let us act on what he is telling us and applying it in our lives. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he'll tell all all your all your face. All the better but bet all the bottom dollar what I Eric Braxton is telling all you. Oh no, all you want to wait until the judgment come and all the forgot to tell all of that. Uh-huh. When all you could right make the right decision now, instead of rejecting what I see, accept what I see, and accept Jesus Christ. So in the day of judgment, God will not have to tell you all that. Ah, so the choice is, the choice belongs to you all or no? The ball is on all your court. I just pray and I hope that each and all your, each and every one of you all make that right decision or no? Right, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I end that video on that note. Shalom, see you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friends.